Hey everyone, Rob coming at you from Karma Comma Chameleon with another Ask Reddit thread. Men of Reddit, what's the most pathetic or ridiculous thing another man has done in attempt to assert his dominance over you? Let's jump right in. Generally, guys purposely bumping into you when you walk past them, especially if they're with friends. That one guy who refuses to walk on the correct side of the hall, lane, aisle, etc. Like, do you drive on the wrong side of the road too? Talked about the MBA program at his alma mater was superior to where I was getting my MBA. For clarification, he doesn't have and isn't working on an MBA, but wanted to be sure I knew he was better because he went to a school with a perceived better program. Literally last weekend, some really drunk dude who I have never once met or interacted with tried to fight me to impress the girls he was with. It was completely ridiculous and his way of trying to initiate it was just repeatedly body checking me on the dance floor, which I ignored because I thought he was just being drunk and dumb. Turns out one of his friends had to stop him from blindsiding me with a sucker punch to the face, assuming he was able to aim that well. Some people do not mix well with alcohol, apparently. I used to tend bar in Milwaukee, and there is nothing that triggers self-conscious wieners more than beer. I cannot tell you how many arguments began with some dude, always unsolicited, unprovoked, mind you, feeling compelled to judge and educate other guys about the beer they're drinking or not drinking. You drink that piss, you pussy? And it goes downhill from there. No one cares. Drink what you like and shut up. One time at a house party, a few of us were talking to some of the girls there, and one of the guys randomly started talking about how he does MMA. Then another guy joined in, and those two started wrestling in front of the girls. I don't think their shirts needed to come off either, but what the F do I know? In junior high, I remember this one bully that would get on his tiptoes and bow out his chest like a gorilla and get all in your face whenever he felt threatened. It was such a funny stereotype maneuver. We once had a candidate come into the interview and legit say he wanted to sit behind the desk because he was going to be asking the questions to decide if he wanted to work with us. I think he'd gotten some bad advice about having confidence. I laughed, but our HR manager flipped her stuff. The only time I have ever seen her call security. Was out having a drink, started chatting to the guy next to me when I learned he too is a musician. He then tells me, you're not a musician. I find it offensive when people tell me they're a musician when they haven't put in the time and dedication that I have. Okay, dude, come down off your ego trip, Christ. I work in a grocery store and sometimes help unload the delivery trucks and our delivery comes in on what we call cages, like a six foot cage on wheels and obviously one that's full of toilet paper will be really light and one filled with two liter bottles of juice are the heavy ones. The lift that lowers them from the truck has that patterned metal floor and you have to pull the heavy cages hard to get them off. Now I'm 5 foot 8 and I don't have a lot of weight on me, but I can pull these cages off just fine. But there's a guy who's like 6 foot 2 and is always trying to show how strong he is. So whenever I'm helping and he's there, he always insists he gets the heavy cages and that I get the little guy cages. Everyone agrees he needs to grow up. I was standing in the breezeway outside a friend's apartment while in college and a guy coming down the stairs from an upper floor kind of tripped near the bottom of the stairs and stumbled into me. It was clear he's super drunk and immediately got aggressive. He was so worked up about being tougher than me for some reason that he started doing push-ups at me while me and my friends just laughed. Fortunately his friends came and apologized and took him back upstairs, but it was definitely the most bizarre assertion of dominance. I've ever encountered. A friend tried to make himself look good in front of his crush by literally putting me in a random chokehold for a laugh. Turns out it was because I was talking to her. I had a girlfriend at the time. We were just talking. It wasn't a chokehold though. It was basically just a headlock. So I decided to correct him. I was fairly oblivious and didn't realize this was a failed alpha move. Creeped the crap out of his crush that he would do that out of nowhere and she stopped talking to him. Apparently she quite liked him up until that point, so he kinda shot himself in the foot. Was at a party and was given the task of handing out beers to people. This guy flipped a crap, 
screaming saying he only drank real beer. Dude, it was cold and free. That is the best beer there is. I was walking to my car after school, and this guy getting in his car just yells at me, You ugly AF, bro! I flipped him off without even looking at him, and he yelled, Bitch! and drove off. How petty do you have to be to tell someone minding their own business that they're ugly? When I asked about what his hobbies are, he responded with, Hobbies are for children and single women. I work. A former co-worker. He would just stand in the way and refuse to move. Even if he wasn't in the way, he would purposely get in the way. I work in a narrow kitchen, so you can imagine how annoying that could be. At one particular moment, I was carrying a bulky 20-pound box, and he decided to do that. I pretended not to see him and barreled into him. He fell over and got incredibly mad at me, started talking about how I have no muscle. It was pretty funny. It was a display of the most fragile masculinity I've ever seen. Had a dude get mad at me for talking to his girl all the time. I was her econ tutor. A guy was mad at me while sitting at a light and was revving his engine. It sounded like he held it at the red line and there was a big crack sound and smoke started coming out of the front of his car. The dummy blew his engine was on a four-hour flight in a two-person row. The guy demanded to have full access to the middle armrest, would push my arm off it if I ever got near it. I'm a guy. My neighbor in front of my house had a boyfriend that would literally rip his shirt off and come outside every single time I was in my front yard. It could be 7 a.m. or midnight, but it wouldn't matter to him. I could be walking to my car, and here comes Mr. Globo Jim flexing all around his yard. He would immediately go back inside when I went back inside. This went on for almost half a year, until one day I saw him hop into his mega lifted truck and drive away, never to be seen again. He did have pretty sweet pecs though. Not me, but my dad. My dad has season's tickets for the AHL hockey team in town. One day he was late for a game, and arrived to see a teen in his seat with his girlfriend. My dad kindly asked him to move, explaining that these were his seats. The teen responded with a quick, no it's not. My dad then showed him his season's tickets and pointed out on the kids' tickets that their actual seats were a few rows up. The kid got up and tried to square up to my dad. My father was just like, really dude, and ignored them. The girlfriend began screaming at him for being an a-hole. Playing a game of pool at a bar for a beer, dude missed an easy shot and broke the cue stick on his knee. He then gets in my face to try and intimidate me. I just simply tell him, Look dude, you're at a locals bar. He shut up and left after that, dummy. This happened over D&D when my friend, who owns a store, let these guys we didn't know that well to join our campaign. I don't know why I out of the table got singled out, but a girl walks in and this guy complained that I didn't order pizza for him said how about you go F yourself when I asked him if he wanted some, walked over behind me and playfully puts his arms around my neck. I told him I'd punch him in the face if he did it one more time because I didn't know who the F he is. Absolutely ruined my day. So when I was in the 8th grade there was this one kid who hated me for no reason. I was really big for my age so there was no way this 5 foot 1 guy was going to fight me so he did something so cringy, I have no idea what he was going for. I was sitting at lunch with my friends, and this kid walks up to us, and spits in my glass of milk, and says in a very commanding tone, Drink! I just stood up, and the kid bolted. Got a good laugh out of it with my friend though. Not letting go of a handshake. It's happened a few times, and always makes me want to treat it as a hostile action. Last time it happened, I just started caressing their hand with my finger, and the guy jerked away. I winked at him after. The overly firm handshake is always annoying. I'm not a freak show of strength, but I have a good enough grip that I can get them to back off. Once when I was walking on a street, a guy was walking behind me and started to walk faster so he could pass me. I didn't care, but then he just stared at me straight in the eyes and walks into a tree threatened to beat me up if I so much as look at his girlfriend again. His girlfriend was my sister. I maintained eye contact whilst laughing as she dumped him on the spot. 
You know, if somebody had said something like that about my sister, I would have looked him straight in the eyes and said, dude, she's all yours. This is Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.